Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato back for another episode of Thriving with Project E. So we are the proud owners of a newly furbished, newly refurbished ocean monument. So basically I just went through and lit it, cleaned up everything, just got a feel for the joint and still very confusing how you move throughout it. Um, but indeed it is lit, so there, it would have spawned a lot of mobs, but it's all cleaned out now, um, may need to fix some stuff, we didn't actually damage it that much, which is good, so there it is, a dried ocean monument, in my mind that's fully conquered, so it's time for new challenges, we're gonna Go ahead now and look at the um, Woodland Mansion. Try to locate it. And that's we'll be nearing the end of our journeys. Um, I haven't quite decided what I want to do for a finale. If there is such a thing. Um, but we do have a map. Let me clean out my inventory real quick of the stuff I don't need. Done with this guy, and of course we got all our different types of prismarines, sea lanterns, all that good stuff. Um, probably don't need this. Put the red guitar back on. Don't need the shears. Okay, so we have a map, and let's hope the map reading goes easier because it's a lot further distance, most likely, to the Woodland Mansion. So let's see what this guy tells us. Um, where are we on the map? Anywhere? I don't see a dot. But I'm assuming it's north of us. Oh, these maps aren't very good. So... I see nothing that indicates to me that we're anywhere near it. Is there a wonder if there's a way I should zoom it? I, I guess I just have to fly until I appear on the map. But, I mean, couldn't you just totally go in the wrong direction? Yeah, Mojang, you need to work on these maps a little bit more. Or I need to take some la lessons in cartography. But I don't see any indication of where I'm at in relationship to it. None whatsoever. If I'm going the right way, the wrong way. I have no idea. Let's see up at the top. You know, there's north, south, east, and west, of course. Hmm. Research a little bit on fossils, too. I don't know if I've, I've never really actively tried to locate them. But apparently, jungles and swamps, or not jungles and swamps, swamps and deserts. We've got plenty of deserts from levels 40 to 49. So it could be worth trying to dig one up, uh, since we have such powerful mining tools. So that could be a thing. Instead of making a bone block, try to locate one. Dude, I don't, I don't know where I'm at. Add in relationship to this map. It, it doesn't give me any hint. At this point of where to head. Just nothing. So let's see what, what is there anything we can know about this scaling at one to four. Um. 
how, how do you scale a map? Anybody know? I mean, that would probably help. Um, I'm going to look that up because I, I, I have no idea if I'm even heading in the right direction at all. Let me look up if I can scale a map. I'll be back. Okay, so as I suspected, there's not a whole lot about it. I mean, I must be that little dot in the top left-hand corner. You know, it's supposed to show the player's location and relationship. And that's the only thing I could see that looks like it. Man, this needs to be improved. This is really not so good. Um, so let's assume that, that I'm in the top left-hand corner, which means I need to go a little bit southeast. So, I guess, really have no idea, to be honest with you. So let me travel kind of this way. I know they can be a long, long way away from you. Like 6,000 blocks or something. But there needs to be a better indication of where to head. And I'm just, I'm not seeing it on this. That's the only thing I could think. That's the only thing that looks different. Is... The top left hand corner indicating me. So southeast. Um, yeah, very confusing. I know I can, of course, use the locate command, but I don't really want to do that. There's ice spikes. Cool. Now you, why you gotta ruin my serenity, man? Cool. And stop that. I hate that dynamic. In fact, I, I hate it so much, I want to turn it off. It drives me insane. Stop. But, yeah, these are nice. This is a really nice world. Um, I may look at doing another type of playthrough in it, and if I can, you know, randomly generate a spawn point different from where I started. Yeah, these are nice, man. I need packed ice, too. Um, get some down here. Yeah, I hadn't gotten any packed ice. Got regular ice. Well, that was definitely worth it. Again, there's there's really a lot of cool stuff in this world. This is one of the better seeds that I've seen. Here's the seed again, guys, if you want to check it out. Um, okay, so s southeast, I guess. I'll probably come back to here. These are nice, and there's your stupid Tinker's Island. They're just everywhere. I think in, I, I do think in the new packs, I'm going to cut down on them a bit in, in new playthroughs. Let me turn off this stuff. Um, yeah, southeast. Am I the guy in the top left corner? Is that is that a thing or is, is that, that just a graphical glitch? I have no idea. So 
So uh, we know they're in a dark forest or, you know, roofed forest. Yeah, we haven't done much at all in, in exploring, really, this world. But again, that's a different type of playthrough. It'd be nice to come across a jungle. And we could maybe find some fossils in a this like a swamp area like this. But that's a new you know, that's doesn't make any sense. Only in Minecraft can you have big snow and then swamp right next to it. Yeah, this is, um, not so good. It's just some random plot of land to me at this point. I uh, still haven't found a jungle, so I'd like to run across that. Well, guys, I guess I'm just going to keep searching. I don't, unless I come across something amazing, there's no use showing all this on camera because it could take forever, man. I, I could be going completely in the wrong direction. So I'll show you, I'll, I'll come back if I pick up, you know, if the if it becomes apparent that I'm headed in the right direction at least. Okay, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, so I found one. I had to use the locate command. This map did, did nothing whatsoever. But we are way out here. 30,168. I mean, God, I traveled so far. It took me over half an hour, really, to travel here. <clears throat> and I did. I flew here. But... It took for freaking ever to do that. So that map system is broken. For whatever reason, you know, it, it never even moved. So I don't even know if that's me in the upper right hand left hand corner or not. But man, and you know, it's kind of a pain because they shouldn't be this rare. I mean, that's... It should be kind of like the end portals where there's, you know, within a certain reasonable distance. But anyway, I'm excited because I've never taken one of these on before. So I don't really know um, how that'll go. I'm assuming it, it won't be a problem. But I, have, I had never taken one on before. That's why I was so insistent about doing it. So I do know about you know, some of the mobs. Um, but let's see if we can find the door. But man, it took forever and ever and ever to get here. So I'm going to try to travel through the nether back, I guess. So I'm not flying that again. Yeah, let's see if we can find the door. Rather do that than break in. Go. All right. So let me check the time on this episode before we go in. Uh, it shouldn't be that long, but let me check the time and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So it's hard to say, but let's assume we're about 10 minutes in. And I'm just going to go for it from here. If this is a longer episode, then so be it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take this guy on. We're getting toward the end of our playthrough. And if you've stuck with me this far, then let's go ahead and have some fun with these tools. So, again, I've never been in one of these. So, I, I realize there's a bunch of different rooms. I hear animals. 
see what this guy's about. I'm sure they won't be any that's a witch. Regular zombie. Skelly. I guess these are just natural spawns. You're another witch. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of the rooms are dark. Um, let me make sure I have on my full bright. Just so you guys can see. Okay, I heard a different type of sound. All right, so I'm assuming some kind of illager. Alright, so... He hit a little hard. So are these empty? I guess so. Let me leave torches so I know where I've been at least. Man. Village or like a. Uh -huh. So there's regular spawns in here too. Okay, so they're a little faster and hit a little harder, but. Can they be invisible? Did, so, they can be invisible? Is that what's going on? Is there somebody invisible around me? What's hitting me? What is hitting me? I can't, I can't even see what's hitting me. Something's invisible. I'm gonna relog because I don't. I didn't know they were, could be invisible. Yeah, see, freaking buggy Minecraft. I mean, look at that. Hey, so they can be. In Accidentally invisible. Okay, so I've, I've been around this floor, I guess. All the way around. And didn't really find anything. Here are animals. They must be outside. So does that just go around in a circle? Okay, so there's regular mobs in here. What the heck this is supposed to be about? But okay, that's a thing. It's a chest, sapling. Okay. That's pretty neat looking. Right, ain't doing that again. All right, so let's see what else we find here. A mushroom farm. Time to go upstairs, I guess. I think I've covered this lower level. It's supposed to be two or three floors. Yeah, I was surprised that guy was invisible. Is this a, like a jail cell? Yeah. I hear.
here, guys. But again, I'm thinking now they're. Where do they drop? Weird because I hear them close to me and I keep thinking they're invisible. Okay, first chest. Punch two. Uh, chain chest plate. Okay. See what we got. So no uh, EMC on that. I guess they drop iron axe. What's this? Glass bottle. Okay. So there must be a room. Like a hidden room. Because I'm hearing mobs, but I can't find them. That's outside. I don't want to break all the stairs to go up. But okay. Just go upstairs. Like a dining room. So you creeper library. All right. Like a ring or something. Spider. So these are the mobs I'm hearing, I guess. So nowhere. A diamond chest plate. So nobody in the ring. Library been in there, been in there. Been in here, I think. Um, bedroom. Yeah, now these guys, yeah, Boker. Wait, let me can I hit these dudes? So they can hit you, but can you hit them? Okay, yeah, so you can hit them. They're kind of cool. Yeah, they need more of those. Kind of like baby zombies, but even worse, because you can't hardly hit them. So they can go through windows, maybe? I like those things. Those are cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like those. Okay, so what else we got? So the, I guess that was an evoker. <clears throat> I don't know the difference right now between evokers and vexes and something about throwing fangs at you or something it said. 
So a lot more natural spawns. I'm not lighting. I don't really care. Is this it? Yeah, it's hard for me to tell. Let me turn off. Yeah, see, it's not that dark in here. All right, so this is where I came up. How many floors are there? How do you get to this place? At this point, I don't care. I want to see this guy. Okay, so there's the fang things. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's cool. Oops. These guys... Okay, so they're the ones with the axes. Where'd that guy go? Did I fall through the floor or something? Yeah. Yeah, these guys are cool. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. Again, you know, we're overpowered. They can't hurt us. Even though they hit us. I'm just going to tear this place apart. Come on, stop. Run that away. I hear a lot more of them, but I don't see them. So yeah, they hit kind of hard. I think 15 or something. So there's the roof out. Well, get in there. Dang, dude. They drop emeralds. Okay. Yeah, the evokers are the only ones I think that are kind of cool. that's supposed to be about but yeah a lot more natural spawns than enemies inside of here I'm just trying to see if there's any hidden rooms that I missed all right there's another evoker guy I wonder if my arrows... Yeah, so it would home in on them. I like those things. Those are really cool. Bring that guy on, come on. I didn't want to kill you yet. I want to fight more of these guys. That's fine. All right, come on. Sucker, come on. Oh, did I kill him? 
I did not mean to. Still another one of those things. Yeah, that's that's fun with the homing arrows. Those are the only guys I like so far. Just trying to see if I hear more of those evoker things. Where are they? Are they are they vexes? Oh, I got a totem of them dying. Ask ah, creeper. I don't care. Stop. I'm busy. That doesn't have any. Okay. So, ah, it don't matter. But okay, so I did get one. Hold them up and dying. Little baby zombie. Let's see here. I'm just tearing it up to see if there's any hidden rooms. I said this is way too far out for me to care anything about. That was the villager head, I think. Yeah. Or this is actually a different room. Yeah. I hadn't been in here. And that was a villager head. So there was a hidden room in the middle. Yeah, so there was nothing in any of these chests. That's a waste. Is that it? Yes, so. All right, then. Since you made me travel this far and gave me so little joy, I'm glad I did get to see those other things. Those were cool. Um, those little Vex things or whatever. But... Since you want to play that away, and we're just going to burn this place to the ground. to Pyromania Extreme. Yep. So everywhere we go with the ignition ring, we leave a 9 by 9 of fire around us. So I didn't get much loot, but I did get this satisfaction. So that's a beautiful thing. If you're a pyro. Yeah. 
Any hidden chests now? Suckers? Oh well, we got to get it out every once in a while. Like I said, this place, for as long as I traveled to get here, didn't offer much. So I just needed to spice it up a little bit. Thanks to Project E. Yes, sir. So there you go, ignition ring. Well, guys, I think that is pretty much a wrap on that. Um, I may go back to the other base and take a look to see if there's any, um, things that we want to cover, but we've achieved our goals of thousand E, a billion EMC, all gone through all the bosses, hit every one of the structures. Um, I don't know if we'll do fossils or whatever, kind of thinking this is done well enough at this point um you know we may want to come up with a way to spend some of our riches that's a possibility but for right now i'm not too happy with this structure here so i'm going to set up a nether portal and see how far away we are which it's going to be a long, long journey, even in the nether. But that's going to be it for this episode. Um, can't say I really enjoyed it. I did sort of. I thought those Vex things were really cool. But otherwise, kind of underwhelming for the amount of effort expended to get here. But anyway, we like I said, we spiced up the party a little bit. And, uh, you know, made sure it was fun. So I'm going to head to the nether and call it a day. So I do thank you guys so much for watching. And let's see if we happen to die on the other side and how far away we are. And I'll just mark this portal and nothing to come back to there, obviously. So let's see, this is going to be Woodland Portal. So the other guys are, see, 3,300 blocks away in the nether. So it's going to take me a long time just to travel there. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Better than traveling 30,000 blocks or so. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching. And this is Scott Omato signing off. And if nothing else, we'll do some wrap-up episodes. So take care, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.